In question 16, you're asked to use the simple interest formula to find the simple interest earned between two dates. Now, it's not always convenient to use a table. When you've got a graphics calculator handy, there is actually a facility in the menu, financial calculations, that'll enable us to do this. So go menu, financial, and I actually find this by going calc, day count. Now, because it's an American or Japanese for an American market scenario, what we've got to do, we've got to enter the month, the day, in the following way. Now, I'm doing this in 2014. Dates you. If <laughs> you're doing this a bit later than this. And the 10th month, 7th day, 2014. And hit the days, and you can see the day count is equal to 241. I can then go ahead, as we've done before, and find the simple interest. And when you do that, you should end up with 264.11. In part B, we need to find the days between January 20th and April uh, 17. Now, I've got this screen on, so what I'm going to do, that's the first month, 20. I'll keep the same year. Uh, just be a little cautious if you're doing this in 2016 using this video, and it straddles February. You will end up with a difference. I'm happy to honour that difference if indeed you are. Pushing the day count, we end up with 87 days. I'll work through for the third one, or C, in exactly the same way. The day count's the thing that is the difference in this one. So the second month, so just be cautious if you're using this video in 2016, which is a leap year. And I've got my day count in the third part as 184 days. So the second one becomes 2000 times 0 0.06 times 87, 365. Part C. Notice that even though I'm repeating and I'm writing out the formula because there is another interest calculation we will be doing in the next part of this set. 